now, everyone. But uh, right now, we have a special uh, guest right here on the News Now desk, our very own Rick Davis, photojournalist at uh, right here at Fox 10. How you doing, Rick? I'm doing great, Mike. G great. Well, you, you just came back uh, from a very moving tribute in, in, in Washington, D.C., the Police Unity Tour. Um, yeah. What can you tell us about it, Rick? Mike, just a life-changing event. Uh, yeah. I took part in the Police Unity Tour with Chapter 8, uh, which is out of Florida, and uh, some writers from Arizona, obviously. Um, we rode from North Fork, Virginia, uh, into uh, Washington, D.C. It's a 250-mile bike ride, mm. cycling ride, uh, over three days. And uh, it's all to bring awareness to police officers killed in line of duty, which we call we ride for those who died. Mm -hmm. And and you lost your your father. Uh, yeah. He was a yeah. Phoenix police officer. Yeah, and you know, the, the thing about losing my dad, uh, every year I would get uh, bracelets. I don't know if you can see this. These, these nice. bracelets that officers would, would ride from Phoenix, mm -hmm. and they'd come back and give it to me with my father's name on it. Uh, and so they said, you should try this sometime. And uh, several years back, I decided to train. Uh, I had a company donate me a bicycle, Sonoran Cycles, a very great company. Nice. And we raised money to pay it off over time. Uh, and uh, it started from there, uh, and it escalated into what it is today. Amazing. We have some pictures here. Let's uh, let's take a look at this one. There you are. You're, you're full on oh, here. Man, I tell you, what an emotional time. This is in Glue Cluster. I, I'm probably butchering the name, <laughs> but Glue, Glue Cluster, Virginia. Okay. Page Middle School. This young lady, when we rolled up, up, there you go. We rode up to the school, the kids were out giving us high fives and clapping, and uh, they called survivors over to a section, and this young lady brought me up, you see the bag there, it had a, a cup with my father's uh, picture on it, and his name, and a little thing about police officers mm. and how they're fallen heroes. It just caught, you see I have my glasses on. Uh, it was a very emotional, oh, tear-jerking moment. That had to be yeah. so moving as well, and then we have this one here. This is uh very yes. special, obviously. Yeah, that, that right there was a photo of my dad and a little story that the kids did a research on. And, and just to show you, uh, I was actually writing uh, in tribute to fallen trooper uh, Edenhofer, mm -hmm. Tyler Edenhofer from the Department of Public Safety. And they also had one oh, let's look at uh, this here. with his Forget name it. on it. There you go. With his name on it and also a little story about him. And it, it has Page Middle School. And on the back, oh, it, it has his name. That's and, and awesome. a photo. So they had both in the bag, and it just it blew me away. Uh, it, it was it was really hard to continue riding, oh, but sure. I did. Yeah. Sure. And what was that like, just being with with others that have unfortunately faced the same situation that you and your family have, and being part of that group and and riding on. Yeah, Mike, that, the thing about it is those officers that ride in this group uh, have partners. Uh, some have spouses, uh, all types of loved ones. And there are a lot of untold stories that you don't hear about uh, that they've been a part of and, and actually roll with the lady that uh, her partner was killed uh, in Atlanta as she walked up to a car and the guy mm. fired out the window and no, not a tear uh, everybody was crying when she told that story yeah. uh, UK even had officers from the UK some had partners that were part of that terrorist attack one of the officers was a great friend of a uh, UK officer that was stabbed in, the, in a terrorist attack wow. and then also uh, th there was a, a loved one there from uh, a, a police shooting in Chicago mm -hmm. at the hospital that we covered a year or so ago. Jeez, jeez. Yeah. And, and it, it's remarkable because everybody has a different story, but you all have that common denominator of missing someone and still being together and being part of it. Exactly. And, and, and you know, we were able to come together uh, and honor all officers killed in line of duty because the Police Unity Tour, the National Law Enforcement Memorial, has a name for every officer killed mm -hmm. in line of duty. And, and when we went into the uh, memorial, there were thousands, I'd say at least 80 to 100,000 people outside lined up as 3,000 of us rode around wow. that uh, that memorial to, to, to 
celebrate and it was just an incredible uh, life changing experience. Oh, I bet. And yeah. and I gotta ask you, Rick, you know, as a photojournalist, when you're going to breaking news events, I mean, you see a lot of things as as, as it's happening with yeah. different police officers, different agencies. What's it like, though, for you um, to have to go to a police officer involved shooting and having that same kind of thoughts that has to be going through your mind. Yeah, for well, number one, on the way to any event like that, I'm saying prayers that mm -hmm. the officers are okay, and any 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 person that's involved in that type of a situation. But number two, you know, uh, I'm a news guy. You know, my dad was a police officer. Mm -hmm. This is what I do for a living, uh, and this is how I, I, you know, I make a living for my family. Uh, but I understand and, and I honor all officers that are out there because I mean, you slept well last night, didn't you? Yeah. Yep, okay, so that means someone's out there protecting and watching over mm -hmm. to make sure that we, we stay safe. And those are the officers out there that will do anything 24-7, seven days a week, every day, every year to make sure that people stay safe. That's amazing. We have some other uh, videos, uh, pictures here, Rick. I want to show everyone while we have them here. I'll show you this one yes. here. Yeah, so that's, Take us through this one. Yeah, that's the Unity Tour uh, at one of our stops. And some of the riders, there were like over 200 riders with me from the chapter eight that rode in and we're just we're there uh, taking a break and we're about ready to ride off again i believe this uh, particular picture was just taken outside of a homeland security uh, building that we stopped at in virginia and now how was the weather for you i mean this shot <laughs> looks absolutely beautiful but the, you had some uh, different uh, weather, huh? well, and that's the thing about this ride we don't stop i mean obviously we'll stop if there's lightning in, yeah. in the area and wait for it to pass but uh, yeah on sunday when we rode into DC 40 degrees rainy and wet uh, coming down uh, in buckets <laughs> coming down in buckets you, it was so cold you could see your breath oh, Wow yeah as we rode in we rode up the Capitol Hill we rode around Capitol Hill uh, once to arrive at RFK Stadium this shot right here is, uh, this is right outside of Norfolk. Before we took off on the ride, uh, they had all the survivors, there were about seven or eight of us, uh, ride first out, the mayor of uh, actually Port Smith, Virginia, which is right there on the border, mm -hmm. Norfolk, was there and they did a dedication with bagpipes and that was one of the ride marshals as we were taking off. There you go, wow, I mean, just so many different stories and, and memories that were all a part of this police week and it's continuing on. I mean, today we saw the president in Washington right. uh, uh, pay his respects there as well. And it, it, what, what gets me though, every year when you hear the names of the fallen officers. Yeah, and, and one thing that I, I, I saw the president speak this morning at the uh, National Law Enforcement, today is Peace Officers Memorial Day, mm -hmm. uh, and it was great to hear him say, if you see an officer out today, walk up to that officer and say thank you. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Very, very, very touching. Yeah, because, I mean, so many, they, they got to feel like they're under attack, too, at times, right? Yeah, the, you know, things have changed. There, there's been a, an up in, in officer uh, violence against police mm -hmm. officers in, in the country. And hopefully with a week and a month like May uh, and people see all the awareness that is out there and all the things that people are doing to bring unity to what uh, happens in this country will slow down some of the violence against police officers. Definitely. Well, Rick, we thank you for coming and really sharing your experiences and also uh, honoring your dad, but also honoring uh, police officers around the country as well, including our very own Tyler Edenhofer as well, their fallen DPS. So, Rick, thank you.